it. Unfortunately, and this was an issue all the way back on Halo 2, this new system is already being exploited by players. So there's going to be brand new cheats, stuff that I don't think the anti-cheat is going to be able to pick up, and this is my biggest concern. We warned 343 this would be an issue before the new networking model rolled out. Fast forward to it releasing, and surprise, surprise, it is an issue. People with lag switches all of a sudden have appeared on Halo Infinite. By increasing the packet loss to their client, they can do damage to a player, make it normal again, they won't take any damage, and they can almost insta-kill players. They can rapid fire. They can teleport Ultra Instinct style behind you. The footage you're watching on screen now has been submitted to me by the community. Now, I don't want to say I told you so, but before this new networking model rolled out, I expressed my concerns because I knew things like this would happen. It's kind of like Halo 2 all over again. The original networking model that 343 Industries rolled out with Halo Infinite had this like lag compensation feature. This meant if a player was running behind a wall and you shot them before they did, it would still do damage. It also meant if someone tried to lag switch and manipulate the server, it would actually only hurt the person trying to manipulate the game. It stopped it in its tracks. However, with the new model, this is no longer the case. Needless to say, this has to be fixed. I was really hoping this time around it would be resolved. You can't have people running around with lag switches, making their bandit slash DMR automatic, and if you do try to shoot them, it just teleport behind you and kill you, as it's going to affect both PC and Xbox. It's an issue across the board, and I get frustrated because we document all of these issues, we do a networking test because of this, we outline this problem and say 343 please fix it, it still rolls out and then people start cheating with that method. The silver lining, the only good news I have about this, is for Kagius, the player who actually submitted these clips to me, posted these clips on Twitter as well, and 343 has acknowledged they've seen it, they said they're going to submit it to the team, so I hope they implement a fix. Even if you take the prevention from the old networking model, so it only affects the person trying to manipulate the server, putting them at a massive disadvantage, they'll stop very quickly. But for the time being, it's like they have a modded controller, as with this network manipulation, they can rapid fire every weapon. Now very quickly I'm also going to talk about anti-cheat. So many people have been talking about the brand new anti-cheat because many players are reporting cheaters and there's been a lot more of them by the way and they haven't been banned. What I think 343 is doing, and Serasia actually gave me more evidence for this, is he posted on Twitter that he dangled some inappropriate software in front of Easy Anti-Cheat and it did not ban him. This would indicate that 343 isn't going to be banning people one at a time but doing mass ban waves. This is beneficial for one of two reasons, as if you ban a whole bunch of cheaters all at once, it's going to make it a lot harder for the cheat creators to work out exactly what triggered the ban. It also means all of the really pissed off people who got banned for cheating are going to go yell at the cheat provider, and if they're all refunding the cheat purchases they've made, that's a very bad day for the cheaters. So that is my understanding of that. They are all going to get banned, but it's going to be in a mass ban wave. In any case, I don't want Halo Infinite to be cheater infested. I care about the franchise, I care about the experience you guys have online, so I hope at the very least for the networking problems, 343 can implement a fix. Finally today, and on the topic of cheating, the Master Chief Collection. At this very point in time, it is as bad as ever. I would steer clear of a majority of ranked playlists. However, if you're a streamer, a YouTuber, or you're broadcasting your game anywhere, they seem to be targeting those people more. Whether you go into BTP, Team Slayer, it does not matter. They're still going to fly around, change their gamer tag to yours, and ruin the entire lobby. They are also still hitting streamers offline, and by copying their gamer tags, are quitting games while assuming their identity which is also getting them banned. I was really hoping when 343 updated Halo Infinite to have easy anti-cheat, they would also update easy anti-cheat on the Master Chief collection. For the longest time, the MCC did not have this cheating issue, but nowadays, almost every other day, it seems like I get submitted clips of people flying around the map, they have slurs as their gamer tag, and they're pretty much holding custom game lobbies in the custom games browser hostage. They can crash the lobby, they can grief the players, something really needs to be done. This is also very frustrating for me, as it seems like most games as they get older, and Halo's not the only one that has this, as those games get older, the cheaters infest the game. I wish there was harsher penalties for the cheat providers, as cheating in video games in its current form is almost like an arms race. Video game companies improve their anti-cheat, the cheaters improve their cheats. It's a never-ending cycle. So I really hope the big organizations, as they have unlimited money, put some of that microtransaction money and go after 
for the cheat owners. Needless to say, if you guys want to see this fixed, submit a ticket on Halo Waypoint, share the video around. It really is a community effort to try get all of this stuff solved, and you guys are great with that. I hope this was informative at the very least. I hope it gets resolved. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.